three habits that I want you to take up if you are below 30 years to save your money and you want to learn how to invest, how to save, how to, how to save and speak money language. My name is Anes and if it's your first time you're watching Anes Digits, make sure you subscribe and make sure you share, you comment, you like and ask me any question about finances and issues concerning money market fund. In this episode today, I want to introduce to you some of the three habits. If you are below 30 years and you want to learn how to make money online, you want to learn how to save, you want to learn how to keep that small money savings everyday culture at the end of the year so that you can save as much as possible and increase your wealth. We are talking about accumulating wealth slowly by slowly. Now, this is our first time uh, talking about this issue because I've asked, asked several people where I work and what I do and where are my friends and colleagues on how, what is their saving culture. And most of them, whenever they talk to me, they just say, I just keep, I just do what, I just do what. Some of them, they just think, oh, I do what, something like this. So money language is very difficult and most of people have sat down to give huge books and huge manuals to make sure that you you come up with a strategy of increasing your wealth. But most people do not take up that advantage because they don't have time. Now, one thing I want to tell you is if you have time, you can learn most of these things for free here on YouTube or even on Google. There is much information that we can get when we want to save our money. And at the end of the year, especially I speak about the year because the year is a good um, enough time for you to save your money, even if it's you're getting 15,000 a month, even if you're getting 20,000 a month, even if you're getting uh, 25 and 30,000, or let me say just 10,000, even if you are a house girl or what, this is going to help you to make sure that you save as much as little as little every month and until at the end of the year, you'll have accumulated enough money to do your investments or to do your own things. Now, at the end of this video, I'm also going to speak about some of the things that you can take up so as to help you at least to invest your money so that money can work for you, but you, so that you can also keep out of, uh, you start now uh, investing yourself so that you can money can start working for you. It's easy if you behave these three habits that I'm going to speak about today, it's easy for you to start and kick off and move forward as quickly as possible. Thank you guys welcome back my name is Ernest. i speak about money issues i speak about how to invest how to make money online and at the same time we are also working on journalism we speak about stories how to use our mobile phone to make sure that we tell our own stories youth on youth how we are seen how mobile journalism is changing how we tell our stories and today's episode is about financial aspect of Ernest digits and this is quite important make sure you follow us on our social media platforms we have facebook page we have twitter we have instagram we have tiktok where we speak and publish all our contents about issues concerning the youth and what we can do so if you are below 30 years and you are working and in most cases you see most of the companies and today people are not paying much simply because the COVID-19 that came up, it brought so many companies to start crawling down and now they cannot pay a lot of money. And today, because everyone is looking for work, so you accept that small, um, that job that you get very quickly so that you can also um, keep some money. At least have something and have something to bring on the table at the end of the month. So... You really accepted that job and uh, they are not paying you a lot. So make sure you use these three habits that I'm going to speak about very quickly at the end of this video. At least accumulate some small wealth. As, as people say, nowadays, there is no inheritance which is good other than knowledge. So if you, you believe this is going to, um, to change your life, now this is how I'm going to talk about today. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If it's your first time you're seeing Anes Digits, and if you are a returning subscriber, you have watched my, most of my videos, make sure you share, you comment, and you like. Because those are some of the things that will make us grow. And when I grow, and you are also growing. So one thing I want you to, to, to think about is take the advantage of savings, um, the culture that I learned on social media, which is 52 weeks challenge. 
It's one of the best savings uh, practice that most people have not even understood. Um, I follow a group called 52 Week Savings Challenge. It's um, a group came up which uh, has been here for some time to, and, 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 till, and I think it's, um, it's now uh, seven years or six years ago where a lady came up with a, a savings challenge which is 52 Week Savings Challenge. You can check most of the videos people have published on YouTube here and then learn. This challenge is very easy, so and it takes your behavior. I want to speak about behavioral uh, savings, be, savings behavior. Why? Because most people can can um, can have a home bank, but still go there and pick some coins and will break it at the end of the month or break it after he finds he has no where to run for for financial uh, help. So one thing I want you to do is behave. Money wants someone who is specifically respect yourself, respect them. So 52 weeks saving challenge is easy, whereby you save as you accumulate, as you go higher, 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 higher. Now what happens is, if you start in the weeks, uh, first week of the January, you can save 200 shillings. If you kick off with 200 or 100 shillings, the next week you have to save 200. So the third week of January, you can save 300. As you go, you accumulate. You can go with accumulation of 50 shillings, 50 shillings, 50 shillings, or you go with an accumulation of um, 30 shillings or 50, depending on your income and how it comes or how your investment is doing. Now, I want to speak about also um, investment. Now, investment is easy. Some of you, you, have, you think some the, it's rocket science or it's something that you, you need to be taken to class so that you sit down and the teacher hits your head, head like this so that you understand how a savings investment can be done. And let me tell you, and this one is for free. If you have never heard anyone, you can start money market fund, uh, trust money market fund for free with applications available. If you don't understand money market fund, there's a video I did about money market fund where you can learn some of these things and it's easy for you to understand. If you are a new generation and a youth below 30 years and you want to start investment, invest in money market fund. First, the security, your money will never get lost. Number two, your money will be secure. You can withdraw anytime and you'll, your money will be safe. At the end of the day, you'll get dividends, you'll get be paid. Now, what happens with the money market fund is your money is secure. I'm always telling people that when you keep your money in the bank, the bank works on your money, profit to your bank. So I will suggest that you go to investment platforms like money market fund and invest there your money, save there your money, withdraw money from bank, go to save to money market fund. There are different types of money market fund organizations and companies here in Kenya. You can Google them, they are there. One of them is Zimele. I'm not, I'm not working with Zimele, but I think Zimele is good for you. You can start saving as low as 50 shillings, 20 shillings, 30 shillings, as much, as little as you want. I think it's 100 bob, the minimum, maybe. Yeah, but check around and see how it is, and they're different. When you Google, you'll see different uh, money market um, fund uh, companies, which you can invest your money and start making uh, investments for the pole. Now, what happens is, guys, if you want to make a good living, and this one goes to all young women, all young men, and all young youth who are below 30 years, it's good to leverage your time. Time is very important, and as inflation goes by, things are not going to reduce any longer. We are not going to have cheap life any longer. Inflation is changing very fast and it will need you also to work very fast, to work with time so that you can also leverage on the creation of your wealth. I want also to specifically speak about today is making sure that you also invest in assets. Some At times, assets can be very good and there are three, I think two assets which I can think um, they are good for you to invest in. Especially one is housing, number two is land. Always land is appreciating. However much you can you, you, you think land is expensive, but when you buy land today, now give yourself five years or ten years to come. This is a fact and it is proven when people are looking for land everywhere. So you find that land is very easy for you to invest your money or build some assets or build some houses some um, some houses and you see some small rooms for people to rent 
you'll eventually receive income there quickly as quickly as possible and save your money and invest your money now this is how you speak money language guys it's easy for you to do this and it's fast now one last thing i wanted to speak about is how to start a small business and if you're looking for how to kick off your business with as low as 10,000 Kenya shillings, as low as 15,000 Kenya shillings, 20,000 Kenya shillings, 30,000 Kenya shillings. I'm speaking to people who are working and I want to help you so that you can also kick off your business, a side hustle for you, at least to increase your income. One thing I was also to speak about is how are you going to diversify so that you can increase your wealth and increase your income because things are very expensive. With a family of only five people or three people or four people, it's very hard nowadays because you'll be spending almost 1,500 shillings or Kenya shillings, 1,500 Kenya shillings just on food, leave alone other bills. So you have to increase slowly by slowly the amount of income of your household now what i want to talk about is we are partnered with afri deals afri deals is one of the companies that are helping people to import things from china and this company is helping people to ensure that they buy for you goods from china at a very low price at the same time they send you goods to kenya wherever you are so as little as fifteen thousand kenya shillings you can decide and buy some of the goods which are very fast moving one of the, uh, the the things that I'll suggest may be baby clothes, um, uh, footwears, which are very cheap. And in two weeks time, through the airplane, they send your luggage, you'll get it here, and then you'll start reselling and making money. And then you'll increase your network, you increase. And at the same time, today you can use social media to market your products. Now. One of the next thing is Afri Deals gives you this option. You can take a picture of something. You can take a picture of something or an image. The, the, the agents in China will search for you these products and then they will eventually bring out this product, tell you the price, talk to them, ensure you get the receipts correctly, everything documented, and then you'll be secure and then you'll start your business. Now, different people are talented differently so if you think this content is quite important to you and it can also bring change to you make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell this is Ernest digits on financial matters make sure you hit us on subscribe ask me any question in this video do you have anything you want to add on do you have anything you need to know more ask me any question and i'll make a full video explanation about these issues concerning investment and if you're below 30 years living in Kenya and you want to invest and you want to save every day. That is the only way and the only way. I'm going to speak other ways which are more complicated than this, but make sure you change your habits and saving culture so that you can increase and grow your wealth. See you in my next video. My name is Hans. Love you all.